Hey what's up YouTube, this is AGR Techie and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to partition your Android phone's SD card. Now this comes in very useful when you're installing custom ROMs or experimenting with different apps such as Link to SD. So the first thing you're going to need for this is an Android phone that has root access. There will be a tutorial right now and annotation on the screen to show you how to get root access on the Galaxy Ace GTS 5830. And the second thing you're going to need is Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. There will also be an annotation on the screen right now for a tutorial on how to install that. For some reason, if you don't see those annotations, there will be a link in the description for both videos. So, let's get on with it. So, the first thing you're going to need to do now is um, back up your data via USB cable because in the process of a partition, uh, your SD card will be wiped and any information on the SD card will be gone. So make sure you have everything backed up before starting this video. I've already made a backup prior to making this video, so I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial. So what you want to do is hold the power button until you see the power menu of your phone. Select power off, OK, and wait till your phone turns off. And mine's just turned off now. And now we are going to enter clockwork mod recovery. So what you want to do now is press the home button and the power button together simultaneously until you see the Samsung appear, then release the power button but continue holding the home button until you see this right here and now you're in clockwork mod recovery. So as now the touch screen will not work unless you have clockwork mod touch which I might make a video on the future on how to install but I'm just using the standard clockwork mod recovery so in order to um, navigate through you're going to need to use the volume keys and the home button to select your option. So what we need to go now is go down to advanced and press the home button and then we want to go down here and select partition SD card. Hit OK and it's going to ask you what you want for your EXT size. So I'm just going to put the best right here is um, 4096 megabytes. I'm just going to uh, select that and the swap size I'm just going to leave it at 32 select that and it is now partitioning the SD card so your SD card will be wiped during the process like I mentioned before so make sure you've backed up everything and just give it a little bit of time while it's um, partitioning the SD card and um, yeah um, it shouldn't take that long but yeah it will start up once it's finished so I will pause this video and come back once it's almost done Alright guys, so it's just finished partitioning my SD card as it says right here and when it says that you just press the back key on your phone and you'll go back to the menu and now you want to select reboot system now and just press the home button and your phone will restart normally. So once it starts up, I'm going to show you how to actually use your um, swap partition on your SD card. So I'll just let my phone start up and the boot logo should appear any minute now okay it's starting up and once it starts up um, you'll be able to use apps like link to SD so I'm just gonna unlock my phone and wait for it to prepare my SD card so I think it's finished so I'm just going to open up uh, the file manager app which comes standard with my phone and all the stuff has been completely wiped off my phone I usually had a few files here but they're gone so um, yeah I'll have to restore them later and um, yeah so now you have um, your phone with a partition SD card um, I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like button below. And um, yeah, it really helps me out guys and I appreciate it a lot. If you have any questions at all regarding my videos or anything you'd like to ask me, let me know in the comment section below. Um, also, if you want to be notified as soon as I make new videos, then subscribe to my channel and you'll have an email in your inbox every time I upload a new video or I make some changes to my channel. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video.